All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the empire, how you doing? We're back with greed. For what the hell is wrong? Uh oh. There we go. There, there the picture pops in. All right, we're back with uh, Greedfall. Let's go get some blackmailing done. Oh, wait, no, I have to sleep for 20 literal hours. Or technically 21. Or 23. Let's, uh, let's turn this off and go defeat this champion. Bring the Mother Cardinal in to, uh, try to reap her benefits. I think this is the way into the tavern. That's the coin guard barracks. Yes! Let me fight this champion. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Of course. Your friends must remain in the stands. I know. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena. And may the better fighter win. <laughs> oh shit Easy What a brilliant spectacle Congratulations on your victory Thank you It wasn't easy And here are your winnings from the combat <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelia seems to do you wonders. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game, and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will. Oh, I will. <laughs> I certainly will. Alright, let's go blackmail the shit out of her. Alright, now it's time to blackmail. And it's bright as shit outside, too. I thought this was around dusk. Let's go find her. Why do I do that? Why do I make it an entire circle when I can just go down the regular stairs? <laughs> this is like the fifth time I've done that. Habit, I guess. Mother card, no? Lady de Sade. And you, Petrus. What can I do for you? We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your money lender. 
You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the Congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? Probably. You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of Cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what's she talking about? Cornelia, you don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened. It's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's her. No, please. But since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Oh. Your real mother. My... My mother? Petrus, is it true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. I knew your mother. I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You know that my uncle lied to me, and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it, then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. A At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation! It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. The Prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and have kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little, until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. Mm-hmm. And yet he trusts me all the more. So maybe I guess pulling your, your, the last card you had in your deck wasn't the smartest idea? At least not right now? Alright. Uh, nope. Let's, let's do this. We're gonna go in fast travel. I, I don't think we have this village unlocked on the map, but we can get as close to it as possible and then just trek through the forest. <sighs> Kurt, my boy, my brother, my friend. How do you feel? Green blood, my friend. Glad to see you. I'd like to talk to you about something. Oh, okay. I'm listening. 
Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors. Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hope never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. Oh, he's here. Okay. This quest for revenge isn't only about what happened to Reyna and the others, is it? Very well. You can count on me. What do you plan to do? Major Herman is posted in San Mateus. He's part of the Red Sun Regiment now. He's loyal to Torsten, but kept his head down when the coup was dismantled. Isn't denouncing him enough? He'll be put to death for high treason. The guard's reputation has suffered enough from Torsten's scheming. And he has connections in high places. I'm sure he has many supporters. What are you getting at? Are you going to kill him yourself? If he's well connected, the Mother Cardinal will surely hear about it. And I doubt she'd be pleased. I know. That's the whole problem. We need to get rid of him without anyone finding out. Remember that we are talking about San Mateus. We should get rid of your Major in broad daylight. What kind of twisted scheme have you come up with now, old fox? <laughs> we need to ensure that he falls into the hands of the Ordo Luminous. They love burning people at the stake. And they don't care too much about who ends up in the flames. <sighs> the Inquisitor isn't very fond of us. I doubt we'd be able to convince him. Hmm. Haven't I taught you anything, my child? Every man has his weaknesses, including Aloysius. I could help you convince him if you'd like. I hate those burnings. But Herman, he may be the only one who really deserves it. We'll need to find him, though. And he's been keeping a low profile since the coup failed. And we've already seen to what extent the law of silence has on the guard. We need help. Our new commander might be able to tell us who to turn to. She knows everybody. All right, then. Agreed. Let's start by going to see her. Okay, so, so, so to New Serene, then back here to San Mateus. I didn't expect him to be here somewhere. All right, let's see what we can find here. This is new. Sieglinda, let's speak to her. Wonder how she's settling into her new role, actually. And there's no mi- oh wait, yes there is. I almost lied. Oh, he needs our help too? Well, we'll see what he needs after we, uh, finish this off. Alright, where is she? Like all the way back here? Hello, Commander. Lady Desade. And Kurt, I believe I should be thanking you for my nomination. It is your upright and honorable nature that won you this post. Not I. Perhaps sometime in the future you'll curse me for having suggested your name. I hope not. How can I be of service to you? We need you to find somebody for me. We're here to talk to you about a document we found in the training camp. A letter. Signed by Major Herman. He's behind all of this, Sieglinder. Herman. Kurt, this is personal now. When will this story be finished? I could court martial him, but you know how much certain people support him. I know. He'd probably get away with it. Everyone loves the heroic Major. No. We thought of another way. The Ordo Luminous. You... you want to have them burned as heretics? If he'd been caught as Torsten's accomplice, he would have been drawn and quartered. Do you think that's any less painful? I don't know if you came to look for my help or my blessing. 
You have both. But promise me that you'll stop seeking vengeance after this. You have my word. We just need your help to find Herman. He's been hiding since the failed coup. And you need help in the San Mateus barracks. Talk to the corporal in charge of the prisons. I know him well. He's loyal. He's from the old school. If he can help you, he will. It seems to me that the Ordo Luminis keeps its prisoners in the prisons of the Guard. In fact, if you want to avoid drawing too much attention to yourself, you could bring Herman there directly. I'll write you a letter for the Corporal. Here you Sweet. Go. Thank you for doing this for me, Sieglinda. You're welcome. And don't forget your promise, Kurt. Okay. Oh, just straight up negotiate with Aloysius now. And it seems that Petrus is ready to speak to us after we're done here. What? <laughs> just so many side quests right, right now coming up. What do you want now? We've come to discuss something that concerns you. Really? I'm listening. We would like to draw your attention to a man who has confessed to terrible crimes. Has he professed heresy? Venerated one of the demonic creatures worshipped by the savages? Not exactly. He's responsible for many deaths and was one of Torsten's supporters. Who, as you know, was planning to overthrow your governor and take her place. These truly are crimes. But they have nothing to do with the Ordo Luminous. You should denounce this man to our governor. I'm sure she'll be happy to have him drawn and quartered. Unfortunately, this man has friends in high places. I doubt that we'll be able to convince the Mother Cardinal. Politics. The curse of our society. I approve of your quest for justice. And I will help you as much as I can. Excellent! I can't have your man publicly arrested without raising too many questions. But, if you arrange for him to come to one of our jails discreetly, I'll make sure justice is delivered. Okay. The felon will receive the punishment he deserves on behalf of the Glorious Enlightened. May he always keep you in his divine blessing, Aloysius. You will soon find this man in your jail. Anything else? No. Thank you for your assistance. Nothing. I really didn't it's expect right. it. Remember that the Enlightened is always watching you. Mm-hmm. Still don't like you, Aloysius. Alright, so... Where is that? Is that... Oh, that's at the tavern? Either the tavern or the barracks part. I don't know. But we'll see. Downstairs. Wait, where the hell? Oh, he's on the other side. Okay. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Still downstairs. Huh. Maybe. Oh, I think I understand. Yep. Yes. What can I do for you? Sir, Commander Zieglinder wrote this letter to you. Hmm. 
I wasn't expecting that. Even though I never really liked the Major, the Commander is asking me to do all I can to assist you in your mission. So what can I do for you? We are looking for the Major. We know that he was posted here. Yes, and officially he still is. But I haven't seen him for some time. Following the coup, he was probably expecting us to go after him. The only people he may have told about his hiding place are his lieutenants. Those two are his henchmen. I see. Well, we'll just have to go and interrogate them. If we bring him to you, can you make sure he ends up in an Ordo Luminous jail? Do you want to condemn him to the stake? That's a bit extreme. Listen, I can lock him up, but you'll have to find a way to keep my men from seeing him. Why is that? All the guards in the city know the Major. If they see him brought here, they'll want to know why. And they will surely take it out on the Inquisition, which could end badly. Mm. You're not wrong, Corporal. What do you suggest? If you bring me some sleeping potions, I could put the whole lot of them to sleep. When they wake up, they'll be ashamed of having slept through their watch. But that's better than spilling blood. Exactly. Come see me when you have enough. Anything else? Nope. Oh, wait, do I have sleeping so potions? So you need sleeping potions. Is that right? Exactly. Come see oh. me when you have enough. It just gives Anything me the else? option to, uh... We should go. Goodbye. Tell him. Alright, well, I can go to the crafting station and do that, which is like in the middle of town. Please tell me this is the door. God damn it. I always do that. We're just gonna go by habit now. It doesn't matter that much anyway. Oh, wait a minute, there's one in my apartment. I, I can't do that, okay. Um. Let's see if I can buy them. Because I appar apparently equipping some uh, in a cup a companion with um with science doesn't give you science. Even though I thought that's how it worked. Come closer. You there, sir! Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Let's see if you got sleeping potions. Ingredients? Nope. I can't buy things from him, can I? Uh, poisoned alchemical mix. Major health, haze. Fury, magic. Power, swiftness, balance, antidote, resistance, armor. Nope. No, uh, what does this do? Poison. Explodes? That's not poison, that's explosive. <laughs> Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you. Alright, let's see if we can put Afra in the party, and that will allow me to make sleeping potions. Oh, wait, maybe. Nope. Sleeping aid. Um, compose your team, Afra. Let's try it again. Let's see what it does. Can I do it? Ah, good. So let's do shit. Let's just make like 10 just in case we ever come across this again. 
Uh, while we're at it. Oh, that's science level two shit. Okay. Right, where is Petrus? Petrus, Petrus. Composed team. to the barracks, hand over these sleeping potions, and put these fuckers to sleep, so we can burn another one alive! <laughs> oh wait, no, it's this way. Alright, my dude. Yes. What can I do for it? So you need sleeping potions. Is that Yes, to put my men to sleep. That would seem the best way of doing it. Perfect. And then? When you have your man, let me know and I'll do the rest. Anything else? Nope. We should go. Goodbye. Now that everything is ready, we should go find these lieutenants. Well, it says they're upstairs. Whew. And they're on this floor? Or are they outside? No, they're on this floor. Hello, you two. Soldiers! Everyone outside, that's an order. But, uh, Captain, with all due respect, you're not in our regiment. We're supposed to stay here, Captain. We must guard the barracks. I believe that the rank of Captain of the Guard counts regardless of regiment soldiers. Especially when the said Captain reports directly to Commander Zieglinder. If it's an order from the Commander, we better obey, guys. Oh, sorry, Captain. We didn't mean to disobey you. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright. Hello, you two. We got some talking to do. You're far from your regiment, Captain. What do you want? We're looking for Major Herman. I was told you'd know where to find him. The Major? He must be on a mission somewhere. Don't play dumb with me, Lieutenant. I'd be sorry to see you arrested as an accomplice. Listen, Captain. We really don't know what you're talking about. As for your threats, you're not our superior. You're not part of our regiment. Yet we're here with your new commander's blessing. The Major is accused of treason. You'd better tell us where to find him. Lies. The Major is a righteous man. We'd give our lives for him. Really? Let's see you do it. Oh shit, okay. Just zero hesitation, let's see you do it. So, are you finally ready to tell us where we can find Herman? We'll never tell you anything. Stop. You might be ready to die for him, but I'm not. He's in a warehouse, on the port. The traitor is probably getting ready to leave the island. What do you want to do with these two, Kurt? Lieutenants, you're under arrest for now. Go to the commander. She'll decide what to do with you. <sighs> At your orders, Captain. Let's find the Major before he escapes. Let's get at him. I, I, I don't think that leads outside. I could have just went to shit. <laughs> oh my god. You fuck up going one place one time, you fuck up going everywhere else the next time.
All right, so where exactly is he? going the right direction it's kind of confusing sometimes I think so ah there he is what the Kurt it's been so long how did you find me does that really matter, Major? You're finally gonna pay for all your evil, your treachery, and your schemes. Come with us, Major Herman. If you think I'm gonna give up without a fight, you're wrong. Oh, you've Soldiers, got men here. Seize them! <laughs> to my hands! And death to the others! <laughs> Maybe you might be protect me in this battle. To the shadow engulfed by enemies. <laughs> There we go. I think that's all of them down. No. What? You shouldn't be surprised. After all, I owe my talents to you. Let's lock him up. The Inquisitor will do the rest. Okay. Wait, uh, return to the residence in San Mateus. Okay. Sweet. Ooh. Yeah, I figured that was going to mess me up. Now let's see what, um, let's see what we acquired. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, interesting. Stuff we're all gonna probably keep in the stash and uh because Kurt looks good in what he's got on. Oh. Kurt, are you alright? Yes. Better than ever. You cannot even imagine how much I hated that piece of filth. What did he do to you? As you may have guessed, I suffered the same treatment as Raina. The only difference is that I survived, and there's even more. Believe me, I'm glad that these memories went up in flames along with that bastard. Thank you, Green Blood. Thank you for helping me as I go through all this. I'll never forget it. Not a problem. Oh, oh, it just sort of popped us outside. All right, inventory. No, there has to be more. You know what? We'll put this in there, too. And then we're going to dismantle that old sword. Cool. All right. So. Siora. Let's see how you doing. Oh God, come on. Karanz, do you need something? No, I'm just checking in on you. I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago, but this memory is still painful. So we usually avoid the subject. What happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. Anything else? I'm sorry. I uh, must No, leave. nothing else. See you later. <laughs> okay, so I saw some other side quests pop up. 
Petrus wants to talk. That's really about it. Petrus. I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once again. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. Indeed, you should have. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. How do you intend to do that? As you now know, I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village. Based on what I know today, I think she was a Donegad. She told me her name, Arelwyn, and told me about her family. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were only a child, so I gave it to Mrs. De Sade for safekeeping. She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No. But I'm sure the Norts can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Norts record everything down to the gentlest breeze. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. So, do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? Absolutely. Yes. All this is so new to me. But I suppose so, yes. Let's go then. Okay, so, see our Kurt, let's uh, do that, and we're good. Wait, what? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh wait, nope, we're going to the Admiral. Travel, travel. All right, Admiral, speak to me. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. I am in a delicate situation, and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Understandable. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. But first... I've come to talk to you about a personal matter. After what I revealed to you, I was sure you would come back to find me. What would you like to know? You told me that I was born on one of your ships. From a native captured on the island. We'd like to know about this woman's origins. I'm afraid I can't help you. I did not take part in those expeditions. And our old archives are far from here. Is there no one on Tia Fredi who can help us? Please. Very well. I do know an old captain who could perhaps help you out. Where can he be found? His ship is moored in the port of Hikmet, if I'm not mistaken. His name is Captain Lissandro. Thank you for your help, Admiral. De Sarde? Yes, Admiral? Don't get too caught up in the past. That one in particular. Nothing good will come of it. Whether or not we choose to get caught up in it, Admiral, the past always catches up with us. Sadly, I'm paying the price of this. <laughs> Yeah, he's right. Whether or not you choose to, it always sort of finds its way around.
22 hours. And who took part in these expeditions is right here on the island. It is indeed a stroke of luck. I hope he remembers my mother. Do not worry. If his memory fails him, he may have kept his diary from that time. Makes sense. We'll see. I love how Petrus is trying to be all grandfatherly and whatnot. Oh, it's just stand outside. Okay. Captain? Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. I am Captain Lissandro. Pleased to meet you. I don't believe I've had the pleasure before. Yet your face seems familiar. How odd. Well, what can I do for you? Admiral Cabral advised me to speak to you about a matter of some concern to me. The Admiral? Coming from a legate, I should have expected that. So? You're the only one on this island that can help me. Really? Oh, I think I understand. That's why your face looked familiar. The congregation is good at keeping its secrets, isn't it? This story is not a new one. Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years since the Norts brought a woman who was captured on this island to Serene. I remember, and yet it wasn't the first time. But on that occasion, a child was born. So you can understand why we'd like to learn where this captive came from. Yes, yes. I have seen more than a few noughts looking for their parents. But what have you got to do with all this? I met that woman in Serene. I got to know her... well. Listen, it's not that I don't want to help you, but my memory is no longer what it was. You got a I journal? wasn't the captain at the time. I wasn't the one who decided where we moored the ship. So I don't see how I can help you find out where this woman came from. Do you need a little gold to jog your memory? You're quite the merchant, aren't you? But since you're asking so nicely, I do actually need a new sail. Here's your gold, Captain. Perfect. My old boat thanks you. Very well. I need to look in my old logbooks. I'm sure I'll find something. Wait for me here. I'll be an hour at the most. Okay. Here it is. I found my old logbook. There's a passage in it that would probably interest you. Oh. Your mother came from a village on the plains in the southeast of the island. I'm talking about a place where the bones of the whale are visible from the coast. I believe the natives call it Vignamri. Thank you for this information, Captain. It's nothing. I'm getting sentimental in my old age. Good luck to you. Thank you. So here you are on the verge <laughs> of discovering your mother's village, of finding your own people. How do you feel? I don't really know. I'm a little lost, I suppose. All of this is so new to me. I understand. Mrs. Desade was loving. She raised you with tenderness. And today you learn she is not your real mother. I'm sorry. It's all right, Petrus. Plus, we've been to Vignamri before. Just it wasn't a pleasant experience dealing with... I think it was Ulan, right? Uh, did I pass my home? I think I passed my home, or I... Oh no, okay, we just went down the incorrect alleyway. No, we did pass it, just now. Uh, down here. Okay, here we are. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? 
Let's talk about my family. I recently found out that my mother came from your village. Your mother was from Vignamri? Now I understand why your face seems so familiar to me. Indeed. She was captured before my birth and sent to the continent. She was called Arelwyn. Did you know her? Of course. Everyone here remembers her kidnapping. Could you tell me more about that? I was not the head of the clan back then. It was a very long time ago, but I remember the village the Nagad. Kidnapped by the people of the sea, all our warriors set off to her rescue. But it was all in vain. Most of them died, including the one she loved. It was a dark day, in which our village lost its knowledge and strength in one blow. So my father died too. Do you know if any members of my family are still alive? Yes. Slan, your mother's sister. She then became our Donegad. She was never able to match her sister's talent. Too much knowledge had been lost. Relwyn was a renowned healer across all of Tiafradi. Taking her place was not an easy task. It's not surprising that she was of interest to the congregation. They probably hoped she could help them find a cure for the Malachor. But all alone, far from the island, she was just a young, frightened woman who had lost all her powers. Do you know where I can find my aunt? You could try her house, but she's rarely there. She is an elderly woman now, and very much enjoys her own company. She doesn't speak much to me, but others here can probably tell you where to find her. Thank you, Ulan. Anything else? Okay. Let's go find no, out. I must go. See any what anybody knows where she is? He seems quite friendly compared to the others we've run into. A bit too friendly, if you ask me. A little too concerned with pleasing the settlers. And do you think that's a bad thing? He reminds me of myself when I was younger. And that's not a compliment. My oh, fear shit. is that he serves his own ambition, and this is often done at the expense of others. There's no one here. Let's go and ask the inhabitants of the village if they know where to find her. The islanders protect their Donegad. I don't know if they'll speak to some Renaigse. Don't forget, you are one of them after all. I mean, we already know who Ulan is and what he does, so... Hello. He's of Renaigse. no uh, concern. Do you need help, Renaigse? Actually, yes. I am looking for the village Donegad. Oh. And what do you want from her? Ulan told me that she... could help me to find someone. <laughs> Ulan must have wanted to play a dirty trick on you. There's no love lost between Ulan and the Donegad. She says that he loves the people from your island too much. But Ulan saved our village. Anyway, if you want to find her, try heading towards the Western Plains. I am not sure if she is there right now, but she likes going for walks there. I am extremely grateful. Okay. Let, let me see on the map where that might be. Oh, that's the one I couldn't get to. Because I couldn't blow up the uh, rocks or something. But let's see. Let's see if I can get to the eastern plain or the western plains at least. Ah, uh, okay. So just head forward. This is the wrong way. I 
Ah, okay. He's fighting one all the way back here. Okay. There's a woman over there, surrounded by animals. It looked maybe Oh shit. She's getting ambushed. for stepping in or you don't understand what has happened usually these animals accept me something must have frightened them we are glad we arrived at the right time we would have been very upset if something had happened to you excuse me but are you slan the donegad of vignamri yes that's me were you looking for me? Yes, we were. If you would allow us, we'd like to accompany you and tell our story along the way. Very well. I will walk by your side. This is the story we have pieced together. I... I just can't believe it. Yet, if I think about it, your face reminds me of hers. My mother... Or better, the woman who raised me gave me this necklace. A Relwyn gave it to me to give to her child, and I passed it on to Mrs. Desade. It looks familiar. Your father had given it to your mother when they bound. It's good that you are wearing it today. My poor beloved Relwyn. Who died far away from us all and divorced Tirsay. Oi still miss her so much. I she wanted me to help her die. But I was unable to do such a thing. Someone would have figured it out. I would have been sent back to Tuleme, and I would have lost everything. So I watched her suffer. And one day she died. Petrus. I cannot hold it against you for letting her live. No, you don't understand. I loved her. I loved her and I didn't even have the strength to end her suffering. She's the only woman I've ever loved. I... I never would have guessed. Everyone loved Arelwyn. She was marvelous. You cannot blame yourself, man of the light. What's more, you brought me her child. For that alone, she would forgive you if she were among us. All is well now. The child of Tia Fradi has returned home. And with him, the spirit of his mother. You are home, my Dukteram. Welcome. Petrus. I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Despite everything you know about me? You may have been a bit cowardly in the past, to the point of letting the woman you loved suffer. You were manipulative and you lied to everyone, including yourself. But thanks to what you've told me, I've been able to find my family and my origins. And for that, I thank you. My child. What you're saying touches me more than you can imagine. At least I've done something good for once in my deceitful life. 
for you and for her. I hope the Enlightened will remember this when I stand before him. Alright, well, that's a satisfying ending to that little mystery, but if you enjoyed, I hope, which I hope you did, uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube, on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment with more Greedfall. Thank you.